Hey everybody, uh, my name is Caleb. This video we're going to be talking about one little keyword. Very simple. This video should be really short, very simple and to the point. It's called pass. So don't pass this video up. Or pass gas. <laughs> or pass out. That, that'd be bad. Anyways, what pass does is it tells Python that we're not ready to give it certain information. So like for example, when we write a function, let's, let's define a function and we'll name it karate chop. So, true story guys, I used to think carrot and karate were pronounced like the same same way. So I was like karate. <laughs> so we're going to karate chop, right? <laughs> and then the argument is going to be who we are who are karate chopping. <laughs> All right. So, what we can do within here, we can like have it do th something like return who Right, and then we can print karate, karate chop, and we could be like James. James Bound. And then we can run this program. You see, it returns James Bounds. Well, what if we were making this function and we didn't exactly have the chance, we didn't want to finish it yet, we wanted to come back and finish it later? or uh, anything like that. Well, we started typing outside of the function and let's say we haven't typed anything in here yet and then we start working on something else. So we like, we're like, oh, x equals 512 y equals snow dizzle, faux shizzle and then like z equals under my umbrella Umbrella. I don't know how to spell that. Under me umbrella. <laughs> oh man, I need some sleep. Anyways, let's just say we're going on with this program. We save it and try to run it. We're gonna get. Oh, what is this? Oh, come on, work, you piece of crap. I just want you to work, work. Ah! And it's not gonna work. The reason is because Python expects this to be part of the function, even though it's not. That's because we haven't had anything written in our function. So if we did write something like print it's working and then we run it, well you can see we haven't called it but we have something in that function so therefore it no longer ex whoops, it no longer expects that this is part of the function. Because if it was part of the function it should be indented like that. So what if we don't want it to actually have anything in the function, we just want to go on and come back to it later. We put the little keyword pass and then save and then we can run it and you can see it can work perfectly without having to give us an error because it's just a word that pretty much does nothing. It just tells Python that there's something in the function. This works for other things like classes and all that junk, but we'll be getting all that in the future. So hopefully that was useful, and I will see you all in the next video. Be sure to subscribe, and go take some carrot classes. Peace.